Hey guys, I'm Tom the Tech Chap, and now we've got all those unboxing and first impression videos out of the way, I want to dive a little bit deeper and show you a few things that you may have missed, a few perhaps hidden features about the new Pixel 4 and the 4XL. And if you do find this video useful, which fingers crossed you do, it'd be awesome if you could hit that little subscribe button down below, ding that notification bell, and all those other YouTuber cliches. It does make a difference, I promise. So I'm sure you've already heard the Pixel 4 has a high refresh 90 hertz screen, and it does make things feel smoother, but it's also dynamic dynamic, so based on the app or what's on the screen, it can go back down to 60Hz to save battery. Now that's all well and good, but sometimes I found it to be a little inconsistent, and I kind of wish it was faster all the time. Well the good news is you can actually force a constant 90Hz. You'll need to unlock the developer options for this, and then once you're in, scroll down a bit and turn on force 90Hz refresh rate. This will obviously have an impact on your battery life, but if you want 90Hz all the time, then you can. Okay, this one's a little bit silly, but you may have missed the new Pokemon themed live wallpapers. Long press on the home screen, go to wallpapers, then come alive, and then you can see it at the bottom. Having this on will drain your battery a bit, but it's kind of cute and it actually reflects the weather and the time of day. And thanks to the motion sensor, you can even give it a wave and it'll wave back. Although this seemed to be a little hit or miss for me. If you want your Pixel 4 to stand out a bit more, you can actually customize the style. Just jump into the display settings and go to styles and wallpapers. And from here you can select from four different pre-made styles that gives the Pixel's UI a bit of a different look. The best part though is you can actually make your own. Just tap the plus icon, then you get to choose the font, what the icons look like, their color. I usually stick with blue, but I do quite like the purpley pink, don't judge me. And finally, the shape. Then just give it a name, apply it, and you're done. It's pretty cool actually, and a new feature of the Pixel 4. Now let's talk about astrophotography. Here's one I made earlier, because Google made a big deal about this on the new Pixel phones. I've given it a go and it really does work. I genuinely took these myself last night. But what you might not have known about is that you do need a tripod, or at least to prop it up against something for it to work. So when you're in night sight mode, only when the phone detects it's super low light and it's also perfectly still, will it automatically go into astrophotography mode. Try saying that three times fast. Astrophotography mode, astrophotography mode, astrophotography mode. Nailed it. Then, depending on the light, it will take up to 16 individual long exposure shots, each 15 seconds long. So you will need to be patient, as these shots can take up to 4 minutes each to capture. It is very cool though, and I'm considering making a whole video around this. Let me know in the comments if this is something you'd be interested in. Okay, now let's talk about mirrored selfies, and I'd never really considered this, but my partner who uses the Pixel 3a was a little bit annoyed that she couldn't mirror her selfies, something that a lot of phones do let you do. Well, it seems now you can on the Pixel 4. In the camera app, tap the little arrow at the top, and then the settings icon. Then simply turn on Save Selfie as Previewed option. This means your selfie looks just like it does in the preview in the viewfinder which is what you're used to seeing when you look at yourself in the mirror. Now did you know that the new telephoto lens not only offers a 2x optical zoom, which is then enhanced by Google's Super Res zoom so you can go even further, but it actually also helps you get more natural looking portrait shots. Side by side with the older Pixel 3, you can see how the subject is in focus, but literally everything else has that bokeh look and it looks a little bit flat. Whereas on the Pixel 4, it's got more of a DSLR-like natural look to the bokeh. So essentially we now get more levels of depth, which makes portraits look much more professional. Okay, here's a quick and kind of boring one, but are you ever reading a post or looking at something and then the screen dims? So you have to then tap it to wake it up again. Slightly annoying, but with the Pixel 4's new motion sensor, if you go into the display settings, scroll down and tap screen attention, this stops the screen from turning off while it senses that you're looking at it. It's pretty handy and again new for the Pixel 4. So you probably know that the Pixel 4 and 4XL do support wireless charging, which is nice and it means you can just pop them on any Qi wireless pad. But what you may not know is that it'll be very slow, charging at just 5 watts, considerably less than the 18 watt wired charger. However, you can get faster 10 watt wireless charging, but only with Google's own Pixel stand. There's one new feature that I'd heard of and I'd seen, but I hadn't really given much thought about. It's kind of boring if I'm being honest, but I was wrong. And it's actually a really cool feature I use all the time, and it's the new live captioning. To make things easier, go to the drop down menu, tap the little pen icon to edit, and then drag live caption up to the top 12 shortcuts. And then as soon as the phone detects video or audio, say you're scrolling through Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram, it'll pop up with live captioning. This even works when the phone is on silent. You can then drag it around, you can double tap to expand it, and it'll even auto-rotate with the screen. Currently it's only in English, but Google say more languages are coming soon. So if you're deaf or hard of hearing, this is a really awesome accessibility feature. But to be honest, I find myself using this all the time. 
At number 10, if you're a Pixel 3 or 3a owner, some of these features will be trickling down to you in future updates, including the astrophotography mode, the enhanced Google Assistant, and also the live captioning. And of course, you already have Android 10 with dark mode and gestures, which on the one hand is great that Google keeps supporting older devices, they keep bringing new features, but then on the other makes it perhaps a little bit harder to recommend the new ones. If you did find this video useful, then make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my full review. And also let me know in the comments if you think I've missed out on any other cool hidden features of the Pixel 4. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time right here on the Tech Chat.